My name is Michael Tridenta. I live in Garton and I'm 40 years of age. Okay, Michael, could you tell me a little bit about your personal attributes? Yeah, I'm um, an active person. Um, I'm an early bird. Um, I'm very punctual. I'm empathic. I like to work with people. Um, I'm a good problem solver. And um, I like to think outside the box. I'm very empathic. Brilliant. Okay, thank you. Cool. Could you tell me a little bit about your education? Yeah, in 2000 I attended um, a, a clay course in computers which involved doing word processing, database, spreadsheets, um, stuff like that, which was later on replaced by the UCDL, which is European Driving Licence. Um, in 2005 I um, attended an adult education course doing maths and English level one and two. And in 2007, I, I attended um, a counselling, a counselling course called um, Basic Concepts of Counselling, uh, which I found very interesting and really, really um, took me, I, I enjoyed that immensely. Um, learning about you know, people and how they work, um, psychology, Sociology, that type of stuff, that type of thing. Yeah. That's um, brilliant. Thank you. Okay. So, could you tell me a little bit about your employment history? Yeah, I've um, worked on several se several jobs, um, ranging from demolition work, roofing, gardening. Um, demolition work was just like manual labour, you know, um, lifting, carrying, breaking down walls, stuff like that. Um, but more to the intricate jobs like the gardening and the, the roofing which involved me obviously using my own initiative, um, working as part of the team, um, a lot of calculations, working out, stuff like that. Um, working with the people, working with the public, that was another another um, uh, key key part to, to the jobs basically. I'm a single parent with four children, um, very successful children may I add. Um, my eldest daughter is just attending Salford University, she's got a place on um, a graphic design course. Um, my son is doing public services, he wants to be a policeman. Excellent. Yeah, you must be very proud of them, thank you. Very proud. So, could you tell me what your, what your thoughts and your wishes and your plans are for the future, what you'd like to do in the future? I like to work with people. Um, as a counselling course, it gave me an insight into people's behaviour and the way that they are and the way they actually, they actually perceive life as well and the way life's treated them. And so I do like to work with people. I like to really link my life experiences with the way people are at the moment and maybe try to help them. In so would you, would you consider youth work or would it just be something like, or would you consider care work? Care work, youth work, I think uh, anything like that, but but youth work, I think more, I'm totally drawn to that direction of youth work because obviously, you know, the children, you know, the, the, the kids are getting a raw deal and I think I've been down that avenue that, that, they, that they're they actually going and they're at, and I believe that my life experience, as I was saying before, that, you know, I really can help them out of there because I've got an understanding and I am empathic, I can't put myself in and take myself out you know, of their situation. So I do believe that I could be a, a valuable help to them, really. OK, what about the avenues of uh, the PCSO? Do you think that that maybe could, you could use your, your skills in that area? Or do you, do you think that you would fit into that? How do you I would love to, I would love to actually to um, be a PCSO. I have actually applied for the PCSO, but because of my criminal background, it's uh, inhibited me from actually doing that. I've been advised not to actually go down that road, which I think is a shame, really, because with, again, my life experiences, I do believe that I would be a valuable asset to, you know, the youth on the street, the youth in the youth centres, you know.